insights to a biblical world. Welcome to our segment where we look at insights to the biblical world. In this segment, I discuss uh, general ideas on how to understand the Bible. And these ideas will help you better interpret what the Bible is actually saying. Now, have you ever talked to someone who is upset with the culture of the Bible, things that they read in the Bible that people were doing at the time that the Bible was written? Some people get frustrated and criticize the Bible because they find slavery um, a solid... Uh, uh, patriarchal uh, character of the times or the social standards of the day they might find troublesome and so people get upset and and they just go I can't believe that this is in the Bible they'll say things like that and it is true that God chose when and where to write uh, the Bible or to have it inspired to be written and that means that God also knew the people of when the Bible was written. However, that does not mean that God invented or inspired the culture of the day. Here's the point. The Bible was written uh, within the ancient Near East or, or what is called the Mediterranean cultures that already existed. And so when we read about certain institutions that we see as unfavorable today, such as polygamy, slavery, women not having any power in the culture whatsoever. I just want you to understand it already existed within that culture of when the Bible was written. The Bible also sees these practices as bad and portrays them in the same manner, even though it reports them within its pages. So as I already said, God knew the people and the culture within which He was writing the Bible. So please be careful when you read something in the Bible, not to always think that God was the author of it. Uh, there are passages in the Bible that tell us how to live, and then there are passages in the Bible that just report the history and the culture of the times. And that doesn't mean because the Bible mentions it means that they condone it, okay? So, you know, God did not invent slavery, polygamy, or marginalized people of the Bible. The Bible talks about liberating people. God gave Israel and Christianity a, a wisdom literature that laid out broad principles of justice and mercy that tr transcend all cultures. And so in doing this, this helps God's people in leading the world to Christ. I want you to remember that following Christ can be done within any culture or political system. And I think that's really important for us to understand. Uh, this is something that's really simple but profound. The people of God are independent of culture. Their identity is not bound to a single cultural expression. And this is by design. When you read the Bible, don't get caught up in the culture, but focus on the genuine claims of the Bible that rise above culture. This is why Christianity has proper, prospered in communism, socialism, monarchies, democracies, capitalism, and any other form of government in the world. So please remember that we believe the Bible always helps us uh, to understand God and what he, what he wants from us. And I hope the more you read the Bible, the more you learn to trust it. And we'll see you next time at Insights to the Biblical World. Insights to a biblical world.